Now more than ever, innovative technologies are fueling change and sparking new ways of thinking. Collaboration between corporations and startups is key to staying at the forefront of these trends. However, finding the right startups can be expensive, time-consuming, and ineffective. But Plug and Play is here to help. As a corporate partner, you will gain access to a whole ecosystem of innovation. Discover startups that meet your tech interests. Stay updated on the latest trends and network with industry peers. We will help you during every stage of your innovation journey, no matter where you are and where you want to go. Get in touch today. Okay. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Reese, and I'm a program manager here at Plug and Play for the Supply Chain Vertical. Um, thank you all for joining. and. Welcome to the second part of our four-part series of Black Founders Within Supply Chain. Um, so this series was created to just give light to Black founders and executives, as well as to just create a community and resource for the very talented Black-led startups we have revolutionizing in these different spaces of supply chain and retail. So the agenda today will just be, we'll be hearing um, opening remarks from our two vertical heads of supply chain and retail. And then we will have a recap video of the first series so that everyone can be kind of in touch with um, what the series is going to look like. And then we will have startup pitches. So we will hear from two supply chain and logistics focused startups and two retail focused startups. Um, following their pitch and Q&A session, we'll have an executive panel discussion um, led by Sydney Johnson, who's the managing director of J Court Network. Um, sitting on the panel will be Michelle Sawyer Robinson, who's the president and CEO of Michigan Minority Supplier Development Group, uh, Barunda Prince, who's the COO at Russell Center for Innovation, Ilka Jordan, who's the CEO of Jordan Alliance Group, Mandisa Turner, who is an EIR at Bionic, and last but not least, um, we'll be hearing from Diana Brown, also on the panel, who is the Customer Supply Chain Director at Unilever. Um, we'll be closing with um, closing remarks from our president here at Plug and Play, and then we will go to the networking portion so everyone can mingle and talk with the startups that have presented today as well as the panel discussion. Um, so without further ado, I'd like to introduce Farzeen Shadpour, who's the managing director here at the Supply Chain Vertical to kick us off. Very good. Thank you, Dominique. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all of you from wherever in the world you're joining us. Welcome. It's a pleasure to be with you. It's great to be doing the second session of our four-part series in uh, the subject of Black Founders. And I'm excited to see the four new pitches uh, today. I have heard a lot about them, and I know that they're doing very great work. For those of you who may not know about Plug and Play, I will do a quick introduction and we will jump right into the agenda that Dominique covered. If we can go to the next slide, please. Plug and Play is uh, many things to many different people. In summary, we are the most active venture capital firm in the world, making over 200 investments per year. We are the largest corporate innovation center in the world partnering with more than 400 of the global Fortune 2000 and the world's largest accelerator, running 60 accelerators globally in different uh, subjects. We are organized by uh, practices and we have 18 of them now. Uh, today, as Dominique mentioned, you will hear from uh, uh, folks who are associated with supply chain and brand and retail uh, practices and we are glad to be collaborating together to put this together. A little bit about our supply chain practice. Uh, we have a global footprint. If you can go to the next slide, please. Uh, we have team members in Silicon Valley, Northwest Arkansas, Toronto, Hamburg, and soon Savannah, Georgia. And we are fortunate to be collaborating with the extensive network of plug and play offices globally who specialize in many different subjects. We believe that with this network, we are able to reach any great startup wherever they are in the world 
and to collaborate with them and to help them uh, realize their dreams and reach their maximum potential. In terms of the subject areas that we mainly focus on at uh, the supply chain practice, as you can see, there are a few of them on the screen. Uh, the main ones that get a lot of attention these days uh, are sustainability, last mile logistics, e-commerce uh, orchestration, as well as circular supply chains. If you're interested in any of these subjects, please don't hesitate to reach out to myself or my team. In terms of the corporations that we work in in the supply chain program, we are fortunate to be working with some of the leaders who cover the supply chain end to end from the mine all the way to the house from exxon mobil to walmart to unilever l'oreal mitsubishi electric shell rider trucking jb hunt and many other great names that you see on the screen uh, with that uh, i uh, would like to pass this on to my uh, friend and colleague will decker who leads our brand and retail program. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you so much, Farzee. It sounds what? like you're in some sort of party. Yeah, my Wi Fi's down in my house. So I'm at a coffee shop living the Zoom life. It does remind me of back when I was a founder myself. And I always joked if the Wi Fi went down at Starbucks or Pete's or coffee shops, then uh, it would put half the startups out of business because we relied on finding allies and using resources. So I hope you all find good allies and resources here today. I'm just excited to share with you information about the retail program, our partners, and who we are. So with that, apologies for the background music, but uh, really wanted to share some of these uh, data points and insights with you and excited to support the event today. So if we go to the next slide. And the next one, brand and retail. The mission of the group, we're one of the largest, plug and place brand and retail program is one of the largest worldwide and working with over 60 corporates to define themes and find ideas and technologies to introduce into the industry. And the whole mission of those communities is to drive positive change in commerce, captivating the next gen consumer. And that is even more important today during the pandemic as we look at the opportunity of a great reset and redefining the world of commerce. Here's a snapshot of some of the Partners we work with, it covers almost every category within retail. That's consumer goods, fashion and apparel, department stores in general, and specialty. QSR is another really rising area that we work with in trying to find innovative solutions to really transform that consumer experience. We've had an incredible track record in supporting and investing in startups in this space. And here's just some of the most incredible investments that the team has made. I remember being in the office when the news broke that PayPal was going to buy Honey for $4 billion. So I'm hoping we find unicorns today that we support all the efforts in this community um, and are finding investment deals. The next, next ones, the next logos that'll be on this slide. The themes that we just had, so we just had batch 15 graduate in our expo during the summit, the spring summit, and the themes that everyone was looking for were in these categories. In-store and omni-channel, as we return to stores, as things open up, what's that experience like and how does that connect to the overall experience? How do you have capabilities to support that? E-commerce, huge spike across all categories. We expect that to continue. So that accelerated everything digital e-commerce, everything that was gonna happen in five years happened in five months. So always a very important theme for innovation. Data and automation, a huge enabler. How do you capture data? How do you use it? And then how do you automate the processes, particularly those, those hard jobs, the jobs that no one wants to do? How do you automate that and make it more efficient? Media is a massive, it's a new one that we've seen really rise, particularly in consumer goods, but how do you transform more into a media company? How do you create content? How do you create communities? And then by the way, use a commerce opportunity to monetize that. So massive opportunity around media and new, op new ideas and opportunities. So the activity that we see usually in our programs include introductions, deal flows and mentor sessions. Some of our mentors are here today speaking on the panel. So we're really excited about that, but definitely encourage you to get involved. We're all about putting those ideas into action through the connections made in events like today 
and in our programming. Great. Well, thank you so much. Thanks for dealing with the background music, but I'm really excited to be here and support today. Okay. Thank you, Will, and thank you, Farzeen, for opening us up. Um, as mentioned, this is the second part of the series, so I just wanted to give our new little preview um, as we prepare the recording from the last event of the highlights of what took place. Um, so after the video, we will come back to start off with the startup presentations that will be live. Thank you.